Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. For the first time, the Philippine Army engaged in live-fire drills incorporating its latest acquisitions, the 155mm Autonomous Truck Mounted Howitzer System, Atmos, and the 105mm M119 Howitzer. This event took place as part of the Katihan Combined Arms Training Exercise, CATEX, Phase 2, held at Camp O'Donnell on Friday, March 15. The Katihan CATEX marks a significant milestone as the initial large-scale operation aimed at enhancing the Army's overall operational capabilities and bolstering the nation's robust defense framework. The Atmos 2000, a truck-mounted, wheel-based self-propelled howitzer system, is designed and manufactured by the Israeli company Elbit Systems since 2001. Capable of being operated by a crew of two to six members, the Atmos 2000 showcases adaptability and versatility to address various operational scenarios. Its features include weapon traverse capabilities of 25 degrees left and right, and an elevation up to plus 70 degrees, facilitating exceptional maneuverability and targeting precision. Measuring 9.5 meters in length and weighing 23,000 kilograms in its 52 caliber version, the Atmos 2000 seamlessly combines firepower and mobility, rendering it a preferred choice for armed forces worldwide. Israel, the originating country, has witnessed several nations, including Azerbaijan, Botswana, Denmark, Cameroon, Colombia, the Philippines, Thailand, Uganda, and Zambia, adopting its artillery system. The journey of the Atmos 2000 within the Philippine Armed Forces commenced with the signing of a $47 million contract with Elbit Systems in 2020 for the procurement of 12 self-propelled howitzers. These units were delivered to the Philippine Army in December 2021 and first utilized operationally within the 10th Field Artillery Battalion, also known as Rolling Thunder, activated in June 2022. The Atmos 2000 units are organized into three batteries, each comprising four guns. The departure ceremony was officiated by Secretary Jose C. Faustino Jr. at the Philippine Army's Fort Bonifacio on September 21. The acquisition process formally began following a post-qualification inspection in December 2019 and the finalization of negotiations on the contract's terms and conditions in January 2020. The contract, totaling 2.386 billion PHP, was based on an intergovernmental agreement between the Department of National Defense of the Philippines and the Defense International Cooperation Directorate, SIBAD, of the Israeli Ministry of Defense. The Atmos 155mm units for the Philippine Army were anticipated to utilize truck platforms from Germany's MAN, renowned for their extensive service support network in the country. This initiative forms part of the Horizon 2 phase of priority projects within the Philippine Army's modernization program, underscoring the nation's commitment to enhancing its mobile artillery and indirect fire support capabilities. The introduction of the Atmos 2000 aims to elevate the Army's mobility, range, and indirect fire capabilities, thereby augmenting its operational efficiency and responsiveness to various security challenges. Presently, the Philippine Army's arsenal comprises two batteries of the Atmos 155mm self-propelled artillery system with each battery comprising six mobile firing units, a total of 12 units, supplied by Elbit Systems. That's all for now, see you later.